Hey guys, it's me, Too Strong, and welcome to the next part of my Pokemon Heart Gold walkthrough. In this part, we'll be taking on the second gym. Now, the second gym, you gotta ride on these three spider platforms, but you don't ride on all three of them. You gotta choose the correct one, and when you choose the correct one, you can advance in the gym, but if you choose the wrong one, you will battle that trainer over there. Now, the correct platform to go on is the left one, because you won't obviously have to battle the trainer. Now, for this gym, since it's a bug type specialty, I recommend using a flying type such as Hoot Hoot, or if you got a Cyndaquil, that's great as well. But anyway, let's just start battling now, shall we? Okay, for the second half of the gym, we're going to have to push some switches now, but first, we're going to have to battle these twins over here. And, oh, crud, I don't, I think I have Chikorita sent out in my second slot, or Bayleaf, I should say. That's not good. Oh, I forgot to mention that that egg we got from Professor Unk's assistant a while back, it evolved into a... No. Wow. I could seriously not have messed that up worse. I'll, I'll just do this after this battle. I'm not even going to talk. Okay, I'm going to try to say this sentence again. That egg we got in the last part, it hatched into a Togepi. Yes. I did it off screen because, you know, I wasn't that great in timing. But yeah, I did not receive the call from Professor Elm yet, so I can still show that. So what you're supposed to do is hit those two switches until those two logs just fall down to uh, an abyss below, or, oh no, they just break. And then we can do this for later usage, so I'll just leave it like that, and we can now battle Bugsy, but I will save first. Alright, this is the second gym leader, Bugsy, and he starts off with his main Pokemon, a level 17 Scyth yeah, Scyther. Let's do this. Wow. I had to fail on its name, of course. Now, I, Scyther, uh, he, she's pretty tough, so I decided to switch to Flappy so I could keep Hoo Hoo alive long enough to defeat the other two Pokemon, and holy crud, I got a critical hit. And oh yeah, I forgot it has that Citrus Berry. Now, this is my third time redoing this battle because the first time I lost Hoot Hoot rather quickly. And uh, the second battle, they got really lucky with their critical hits. That is such good news. Yes, it got static. And that's basically the exact same way how Flappy died in the last battle. Well, not died, but fainted, you know. Let's send out Hoot Hoot. We'll just have to use Peck. I hate how the only flying move it learns for its like first 20 levels is Peck. But, uh, can't really do anything about it.
Yeah, I'm not a problem with Kakuna aren't difficult at all, and I just spoiled her last Pokemon, but who cares? And, oh, uh, yep, doing what you did before, sending out Scyther again. Maybe I'll be faster than it, though, because it's paralyzed. Oh, good I am. Oh, great. The HP looks a little bit too big for another one-hit KO. Uh, don't let me run. Yeah, uh, no. No. Now it's going to use a super potion. Please. No. Oh. I am hating this. Oh good, it's paralyzed. Oh no. Of course you're gonna be left with one HP. Of course you are. No, I don't want to use it on Flappy. One thing I like about the uh, games before black and white is that when you use a super potion and you use it on the wrong Pokemon, it doesn't count that as a turn, so then your Pokemon will just faint. That always ticked me off. Please be faster than it. No! Now Scyther is down, but I don't count on Bailey being able to take out the Kakuna with ease. But we'll just see how this turns out. <laughs> that was almost enough for two level ups. That would have been a great amount of experience for Hoot Hoot, but sadly, she could not have gotten it. But you know what, let's just end this now. Be Holy crud, that's not good. You know what? I'm going to do the same thing to... Of course that doesn't affect you. Of course. And yeah, I got poisoned. I'm having the best of luck right now, and it's making me feel so great. Is this the only move it knows? I think I can go one more turn without having to use a super potion. Yeah, I think it's about time to use a super potion. I don't have a super potion. That's fantastic. I thought I bought one, but apparently I did not. That's great. That's really great. Is she gonna use a super potion or holy crud, that's not good. I'm gonna take the risk. I've won! Yes! Oh, I'm so happy now. Man, that took forever. And no, I don't want you to learn Reflect. I don't like moves that don't deal with damage. I don't know, I just never have liked them. Ah, oh, good. Oh, we finally beat him. And we've gotten the Hive badge now. So now level 30 Pokemon will be us in trades. We can now use Cut outside of battle, and he gives us TM89, which contains your turn. In the original Gold and Silver, though, he gives you um, what's the move? Fury Cutter. Yeah, I think that's the move. 
I'm not positive though. Let me check. Yeah, it's Fury Cutter, but now we're done, so let's just get out of here and go heal. And ooh, there's that phone call from Professor Elm. So let's answer it now. Yeah, I'll show it to you when I can find an easier way to get over there without having to walk all the way back. But first, I will go heal. Oh, good, you survived. All right, now that we're all healed up, I'm going to go switch because we're going to be battling our rival really soon. Actually, as soon as we leave the city, or the town, whatever you want to call this place, and we'll be battling him right here. Alright, so this is our second battle with our rival, three question marks. Now he starts off with level 14, Ghastly, so let's st I was gonna say start this off, but then I decided to say do this, but yeah. I always do that, and, and that did a lot of damage for being not very effective. Spy, what does that move even do? It reduced, oh, that, that's fantastic. Why did I even think about using that move? I don't know, I usually just don't. Oh, okay. You can do that. I'll probably just switch so then that doesn't take effect immediately. Oh, oh yeah, it takes effect right there. Have to send out too bad. Okay, it's time to send out Flaffy. Let's do this. This shouldn't be too difficult. Let's just use thunder. Oh, thank you for missing. Oh, no. Oh, you missed again. Oh, okay. My luck is going good now since I had terrible luck with Bugsy. And that's great that I grew a level. But now... He sends out his cool lava because it's now evolved and it's going to be level 18, which is higher than the other Pokemon I have besides Bayleaf. But I'm not going to dare use Bayleaf against it. Oh, crud. Smoke screen. Oh, no. Why well, he got to go there? You jerk. How much is that going to do? Oh, jeez, that's not a lot. I need to do some training. <laughs> Again, what are you going to use that's going to cause a great deal amount of damage? This is going to be the last hit. No, don't tell me you have a super potion. Oh, good, you don't. But watch, I bet my thunder shock will miss now because of that smoke screen that Quilava used before. Oh, it didn't. Wow. That was a rather weird battle. I thought I was going to lose, but okay. Yeah, I definitely need to uh, go train. Okay. But in the next part, we'll take on Ilex Forest. Thank you for watching. Bye.